my kingling. There's a guy passed out over there. Look at this bad boy. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm sitting in my car. Uh, I did have a run in with a load of bees in the Bucanvillia hedge that uh, cascades over the front of my wall. I was just trimming it back and uh, stupidly went too close to a, a nest and it's chased me. Uh, and I'm sitting in the car because I. <sighs> gonna chase me this far, surely. Huh. Five minutes later. Right, I think they're gone. It got stuck in my hair, which is horrible, but I didn't get stung. Uh, anyway, not gonna go near that hedge for a while. The neighbors were actually watering, and I think they had a bit of a laugh watching me flapping about, but anyway, we've gotta get on with the rest of the day. We're gonna head into town. We've got some interesting new bills that I've seen. We'll check them out, see how much they cost. Now, I know a lot of guys are like, well, why are you showing stuff for sale? You can't own land here, or buy property here as a foreigner. Well, if you live outside the big towns and cities like Phuket, Pattaya, Chiang Mai, the rental options just aren't available. And I know a lot of guys here that actually do buy and build. So we're going to have a discussion about it later, actually, because it's a real 50-50 split on what guys think about this. I'm also going to find somewhere new to eat and see what we get up to. How much do you reckon these are? There's probably about two or three bedrooms up there. I quite like them, they're quite modern. There's a guy passed out over there. It still amazes me how they do the scaffolding here. It looks so rickety, but it works. I'm going to give this number a call, see how much they are. Right, so I chatted to the agent and apparently it's 1.95 million for two bedrooms, two bathrooms or two toilets. And there is a Konyan or a worker doing some tile work, but he's still asleep. So, hopefully, he's going to wake up soon. The neighbours are a bit noisy though. Not sure I could deal with that. That's music from their house. They're quite small windows. Anyway, hopefully he wakes up soon and we can uh, we can have a look. What do you have? Tamnian Tanila. Tamnian. Oh, can we can we Kai Kai Bog and get I? Any okay, mate? Okay. All right, let's get in there. Hopefully I don't freak that guy out. <laughs> Wake up to see a sweaty Farang. Well, the spec looks pretty good. And uh, this is a tile, I think, but it looks like wood. Granito tiles. This is the entrance area. It looks comfortable. So yeah, this is halfway through the build. It's kind of a strange design. This is a very tiny landing at the top. We have a, a bedroom with quite odd windows. At the back, it's a nice finish, nice tiling. So from the outside, it looks a lot bigger. Newly tiled shower room. This might be the master. Well, it's a small room. It's got a nice, uh, nice big window here. So basically it's just two small bedrooms, toilets. Well, I can imagine with some nice interior design, it could look pretty special, but it just seems a little bit on the small side. And it's a lot bigger from the outside. 
Just hope you don't wake him up. <laughs> so this would be the entrance area. Any Hong Kua? Any Hong Kua? Hello. Hello, hello. Any Hong Kua? Hong Kua, you know, na? Hong Kua. Any Any Hong Any Hong Lin? Hong Lin. Okay. Court Club. Hong Nam, na. Poor geezer. Ah, so there is a toilet down here. Outside area. A gardener, non lapse of bina. The Tam Gang, no? So why, no? So why? Cup, cup, come on, come on. So what do you guys think? I think it's a little bit overpriced. It's a bit of a glorified townhouse. So you get a bit of land with it, of course. It's probably a couple of hundred thousand over. I think 1.7 would be a good price for it. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Right, so we're gonna head off to the lake, which is just over, the, over there somewhere. And uh, it's a huge lake. And I'll see if I pick up something to eat. All this house viewing has made me hungry. I don't know if you can see that guys, but it's supposed to be a lake. It's just covered in lilies, completely covered. It's a huge lake. Crazy. We'll have a drive around, see what we can uh, see what we can find. Someone obviously goes out on their little boat. Amazing. <laughs> I love this. I love in the middle of nowhere you get these little exercise uh, workstation things. Fantastic. Just in case you fancy a little uh, little workout. It all seems to be working. There's nothing around here. We well, yeah, used to come down here and have a, have a fish. But I wouldn't like to cast my rod out there. Got some guys over here, I'm not sure what they're doing. Fishing or... Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Hello, you tell me like Todd Pla, look. Let's try Todd Pla. My, my, my. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Make 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 koi make koi long and he wan mate. Wan la okay. Cap. Make koi hen. Nee 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 nee. Eh. Nee check do. Sorry go. Then 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 he pop na na. Ah, okay. Can you take more? No, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, you got to open them up. My king leg. Ah, oi. It's good. 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 Wow. I think I used to have those ages ago, but they're really nice. All nice people. It's quite hard to open though, but if the granny could do it, no excuses really. Alright, let's get some food. So 
I've got alpaca big gang will go up kind of out. Uh, tinny. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think they're cooking some hot chilies because I'm having trouble breathing when somebody cooks something really hot chili in the restaurant. And you get people choking. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. That is huge. And he's just going to get me some soup as well. So this is the Mugob. And the Cap Capamanica. Get a nice bowl of soup. Ah, we've got your chilies in there. This is a pack pick, which you see me cook at home in uh, other videos. But I make with chicken. This is with the crispy pork and a fried egg. Right, this should keep me going. Get stuck in. Seriously good. Very hot. But all of this for 40 baht. And my lips are already burning and I've still got all this to go. I'll see you on the other side. I'm definitely coming back here again. I only have one fault with this place. The food is spectacular. There are no tissues. And when you've had some hot chilies and your nose is running, it's cruel not to have tissues on the table. I might have to make an emergency run to the car. But we've got some water. Oh, no, there's tissues up there. <laughs> oh that was so hot I'm going to need, need some of these those lovely people gave me a load of them yeah and hopefully they put the flames out a bit that was an incredibly hot meal and hopefully these just uh, calm my mouth down a little bit Hello mate. Always get a nice welcome. We will play with your ball later. Alright? Good boy. So yeah, things have been going pretty well. We still haven't got the door back, which is a bit annoying. I need to go down there. I'll we'll give them a call. I've sort of forgotten about it myself. Uh, Bob's looking pretty good. The garden's sort of greening up and looking better than it did. Any Bob lovers out there? Yeah, he's well back in the game now. So, uh, yeah, things are looking better in the garden. The pump's still working. Uh, did smash a window while I was streaming. So, yeah, not all, uh, not all roses. Yeah, also sat on my sunglasses again, uh, which seems to be a monthly occurrence. I do need to wear sunglasses. I've got quite sensitive eyes. I've got blue eyes. I am a sensitive flower, really. Yeah, onto the subject of buying and building over renting or buying a condominium. It is quite a hot topic. I had a video, a Facebook post, even the 16 million bar house that went up had comments about why are you showing this? It's you can't buy here, saying you're idiots. What are you doing? Uh, do you not have any any sense? I can see where they're coming from, but it's a very blinkered view in my opinion. I think they're looking at guys that buy and build here at the very extreme low end of the scale of guys that do things wrong. I'm talking about the guys that come here, maybe spend six months here, fall in love with the place, which is very easy to do, sell up everything they got at home, meet a girl, a bar girl, plow all their money into a property for her and her family and then get kicked out and end up begging outside 7-Eleven. These stories do exist but they are not the norm. Most of the guys I know here actually met their wives in their home countries, are in stable relationships, want to retire here, but their wife's family do not live in the big cities. They may live outside in rural areas. Uh, the options to rent are really far and few between. So spending 50, 60,000 pounds on a villa with a nice pool is quite an attractive option, especially if you're in your 50s and 60s and you've got that money, got pension coming in. Let me know your thoughts. And for the guys that are completely against it, what do you do in that situation? Would you just rent a small place? Because in rural areas, it is not easy to find places. Live with the family, 
or splash out on a villa with a pool for 50, 60,000 pounds? What would you do? And if you're really against it, let me know in the comments below. I'd like, I'd, I'm interested in what you guys think. From my perspective, 18 years ago, I was 29 at the time this whole process started. And it was a very quick thought process. It was like, right, okay, the average house price in London at that time where I was living was about 300,000 pounds. I was like, okay, I could be mortgaged up to the eyeballs for the rest of my life. I could even get divorced later on down the line and lose half that money. Or I could build for 50,000 pounds here, no mortgage. I was in a stable relationship. My wife was pregnant in a beautiful part of Thailand, beautiful view four bedrooms, we were near my wife's family, I didn't want to live in a big city. It was a no-brainer to me. Yeah, I like to put these questions out there because even though I'm a small channel, I've got really great subscribers. You guys comment and interact with my videos a lot more than I expected and it's really, really good to uh, see what you guys think. And actually, I've got to know some of you through the comments. And yeah, it was something I didn't expect when I started this channel, so yeah, thanks for your support. Right, so it's time for Phrase of the Day. Yay! Okay, welcome to Phrase of the Day. Now, I did use a phrase today, but I didn't end up putting it in the video because it was too windy. I was out looking at land. A subscriber, Philip, was asking me about the price of land next to the road here. Two million baht arrived, Philip, just to let you know. Uh, but I was speaking to the agent and she was talking so fast. I think she might have been Burmese as well. I didn't really recognize some of the words. So I was saying, I think I got a little snippet of it. How's my pronunciation, Jenny? Okay, not too bad. Uh, so, put is speak, cha cha is slow. You can add noi after that, which means little, and dai mai, which is can, and the mai is classifying as a yes no question. And of course, we finish the phrase with a krap or ka, depending if you're a man or woman. So, if you want to use Noi or the little in brackets, it would sound something like this. Now, a good way to remember this, I was talking about word association before. Uh, when I started learning this word or phrase, I would think of uh, Vladimir Putin doing the cha cha dance. Uh, put cha cha. Uh, I know it sounds weird and it's not a very nice thought. It might help you remember put cha cha. Remember the Dai Mai was from the first phrase, Farankin Dai Mai. It is can, Mai classifies that whole phrase as a yes, no question. So if someone's talking too fast, you don't understand, you want to speak slower, you can use that phrase. Thank you, Jenny, and we'll see you next time. You're welcome. Right, news update. As of the 26th of May, there were three new reported cases of COVID-19. All new cases were returnees in quarantine from abroad. One was returning from Russia and two returning from Kuwait. However, even with infection rates at almost zero levels, the Thai cabinet has chosen to extend the emergency decree until the end of June. Now, although the decree will still be in place, people are looking towards the next stage or the third phase of businesses opening up. In Chomburi province, there is even talk of beaches opening as early as June, notably Bang Sen Beach. However, the strict Pattaya mayor has not guaranteed beaches will reopen. Now, as Thailand's economic forecast is seen as one of the worst performing in Asia due to the COVID-19 crisis, the governor of the Bank of Thailand will be stepping down. The BART has seemed to be bulletproof in recent years, and I've personally seen the BART only strengthen. It will be interesting to see how the Thai BART performs over the next 12 months. That's all for today, guys. Uh, what did you think of the properties? I personally thought it was a bit pokey, and uh, you could get something double the size if you build it yourself, but not everyone wants to go down that route. Thanks once again for your support. I enjoy reading all your comments, and I do answer all of them. So on that note, I say stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.